Okay, so what I'm doing. Alright, so I think I have main tutorials on sketching, so you can do it to watch them likewise. Okay, so let me sketch this area also. Alright, can you see what I'm doing? Alright, so just let me use a tool that can easily help me to sketch from top. Alright. Can you see I'm setting man? So you make it to be at the edge. Do you get so instead of trying to sketch one after the other, it will just happen to do that easily. You understand? So uh, note, I'm not sketching this for the sole aim of posting heat. All right. If I want to post it, I will make it more detailed than this. But I just want to give it just you know just to sketch. You understand? All right, so I'll not be posting this sketch. I'm not sure of that. But if I'm still going to detail this, it has to mean I'm going to post it. Is that okay? So let's see what you have sketched. Let's see. Can you see that? Okay. Then let's come to the other area. But for you not to be confused, you can decide to reduce the picture quality. I mean, opacity a little. All right. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? All right. Let me use my soft. I mean, hard razor in this area. So. All right. So just let me try to make some designs to the cloth right now. Right, I want to. It's not there actually. I just decide to put it. You understand? Um, I can decide to remove anything and add any other thing to it. You understand? So that's the purpose of how I'm doing all of this. So it's not necessary that something should be in the picture before you had it. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm trying to give it a little details. Let me merge all of this together. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm giving it to stroke because I like it like that. It's not a rule. And I can decide to just give some areas some stroke. Is that okay? It's not a rule of sketching. So I just love that. I just decide to, to do it like that. All right, guys, what I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm trying to give the clothes some details with sketching. Uh, the other time I said I wanted to detail it, but actually I just 
let's detail mm -hmm. let's detail it it's better so this is this is well, this will be a beginner's video i'm sure you should understand this video better Let me make all right and create a new layer for this area. Um, let me check something well. Okay. All right. Um, let me keep it layer for now so that I wouldn't. <laughs> I have to be coming back there to put the details. All right, I'm trying to make my shadows here. You understand? So it's standing uh, as a shadow. Good. So let me reduce the opacity of this a little and put it on salt. I mean, on eraser mode. If you don't understand all of these tools, please check out all my other tutorials on this YouTube channel. I explained some tools, their usage and all right so but yet if any of you still need clearance on the tools just come to my dm or join my whatsapp group the link is below or telegram channel and just ask me questions that you're not clear with all right then i'll explain better to you Can you see that? Okay, let's see what we've done on the cloth. All right, can you see all we've done? Okay, so I will not be matching that layer from now. Let me continue with the details I wish to put on the cloth. Remember, many of the, these details are not there actually. I just decide to put it there. Note, is that okay? I just decide to put it there. Not compulsory. I have to decide. It's just a decision to put it there. All right. So what I just started to see the beauty gives to it. Can you see it? Actually, make it more meaningful and beautiful. All right. So let's proceed. Okay. Let me come to this here. Can you see what I'm doing? Hope you can see how um, detailing it gradually with my sketch. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me go to the other side here. Yeah. Some things may not be shown in the picture well, but you just have to think on um, what you should put there.
Okay, so I'm doing. Alright, so let's see. Maybe I've got thing to. Alright, can you see this? Okay, let's continue. Let's come to the nose. just let me blend the tips so just let me choose this inky pen to paint inward here where black is seen Okay, so I think we are moving gradually. Just okay, let's move to the lips. So let me use the tool using before to sketch. All right, my dream brush. Let me decrease the size. Okay, so let me use my soft tools here. If my background somehow is noisy, just manage that with me. Um, let me check something well. Okay. Just let me <clears throat> all right can you see what i'm doing now so we just have to make it well and then use a soft razor all right so just use the soft razor to blend the hedges just gradually So everything will be blended in this area like this. Hope you can see it. All right. So then after you're done with that, you just have to merge these up layers. All right. To the downwards one. Then you create another new layer. Then you can just gradually put it on the edges here. Then use your soft razor again to blend it in. So if it is uh, a picture you want to print on frame, you just need to be careful with the size of pencil you use and how you blend because actually everything will bring to the whole point in a frame. All right. So if it is a framework, I will advise you that be mindful of your sketch actually. All right. If there is any mistake, don't hesitate to clean it off because everything will make open. all right so use your soft razor don't forget that to always blend the hedges of your sketch no matter where you are sketching unless the place is closed all right so you merge it also and you create another new layer to do the downwards part now for this you can use your tool you can use your guides and just reset it 
All right. Just make sure you reset it well. And then just take one stroke around that place and then you use your soft eraser. The downwards part here is not so much necessary, but it should be there. And yet, it shouldn't be too obvious because of the nature of this lip. All right, so you can see the lips now. Okay, so you just have to match again. Now, let's move to the highs before going to the beards and the hair. All right, so all of these little, little details you're seeing in the picture, it has to be there, actually, so that your picture will make sense. All right, so you use your soft reason now to blend all the hedges of what you just sketched. It's very important so that your sketch fit with your blend modes after you finish painting. All right, so you can watch on all of them, all other tutorials of mine. All right, so but this is just a guide for beginners actually. Okay, so you can match this with the lips now. Okay, so uh, to detail the highs properly, you can choose to use your soft hair brush. All right, this is just my settings here. It's 0 0.5 is the size. For your pressure, this soft light pressure should be at 0 0.1 or always. You can see the effect of there. All right, so I can resize it actually, but just make sure your soft light pressure is at 0 0.1 for the hedges to be smooth. All right, so and always be sure that you create a new layer before doing anything. And there will still be need for you to blend this also. All right, it shouldn't be too obvious. Like I said the other time, if all these things, if you want to put it in a frame, just be mindful of all the sketches you do because everything will be put to hope on. And if it's not good, you've already printed the frame. And, all right, so. Now, let me use my soft eraser to blend it a little, just to blend it in, in this area. All right, and this area also. So after we put our colors and try to blend everything together, you will see it to be fit. So it's actually be a sieve. These strokes is not in the picture, but you just have to put it actually because it should be there. All right, but because of the photo shoot and the photo editing, it's not showing, but it should be there. It's very important that it is there. All right, so. You come to the other side also and just flip, then you zoom it inside likewise. Then you take your tool again, not your soft eraser this time. All right, and just use it to do the hedges also. All right, then after you're done with that, you, you blend like the first one we did. All right. So, just blend this way. Alright, so you use your soft eraser again in this area. Then you blend this area also, like you did to the first side. Alright, so let's see what I'm talking about in the blending. Can you actually see this now? Alright, so create a new layer and uh, put the strokes down with the you may not necessarily put it but actually it should be there all right can you see that that's the reason why it should be there so this area is not well blended enough all right so just do it like this and you can leave it like that then you can merge it to the real sketch okay so create a new layer now and let's move to the yeah firstly let us come to the head all right then you can use any of your tools you can use your hr 
you can use your camo you can use your tony brush you can use your charcoal you can as well use your hr and also you can use this your splatter effect all right all right so but i would not take you deep into that just let's use a camo all right let's reduce this opacity a little let's go on with the camo all right so we are still going to edit it actually we are going to clean some areas that are not useful but firstly you just have to do everything and make what you are trying to achieve make it wonderful all right so i think that's for the hair now so you reduce this opacity a little all right let's put it around maybe a 30 percent opacity or 34 then you can use your brush again let's go with our soft air brush just make the size a little bit bigger and then use your eraser on it now i'm not using my hard eraser because i don't want it to be straight all right so you just have to trace it around now in this area the shape of the hair may not be gotten well but you just have to trace what is in the picture itself and you can choose to create another for your for it yourself okay so this area so you clean it out now after you've done all of that if you now find any reason to put any other thing to hit, then you can put it now. All right, can you see what you've done? All right, so if you wish to erase any area at this stage now, you can erase. And if you feel you should put another thing, you can now begin to put it. All right, so don't merge this particular layer now. Just create another layer and let's move to the high bro. All right, so I'm still going with my uh soft eraser but note you can use this traditional tool this art pencil all right you can use it but i just want to stick with this soft eraser eraser now i mean soft hairbrush all right i don't want to be changing pencils over and over again can you see i'm doing my own so you just have to take the strands according to what is in the picture But if the one in the picture is not showing well or is somehow fading, then you can create your own. And even if it is showing and just wish to change the flow, then you can create yours. All right. So let's flip to the other side again. Remember, you can choose to um, sketch it in any way you want, in any way that is convenient for you. You can sketch from the right or the left. You can sketch from the top right. So it depends on where it is much more convenient for you. So for now, if you see many of my tutorials, I don't sketch it like this. But for now, this is how it is convenient for me. All right. So you take the strands as you see in the picture. All right. So you can see it now. Then you can flip it back and come to your soft eraser to make it blending also now you have to be looking at the reference to know what you're trying to achieve uh, the size the amount to raise i can just put it at maybe 23 right then begin to blend the edges okay, that's what i'm doing and then opposite i can just use it to make the mouth a little bit smooth can you see that? Alright, so you continue with that. 
can you see it different from what is there initially okay let's come to the other side here also let me check the reference to know okay this place also is blending okay so like i did the other time i'm still going to make it a little bit smooth all right can you see the kind of eye that is there now okay so you can merge the two for the eyes and the hair you can merge it together all right so you create another new layer let's come to the base where many people make mistakes but actually you can choose to avoid the mistakes now you just have to look at the strands of the beards to know how the flow will go can you see this actually all right so let me start from this side i'm going with what is the reference now let me come to this side here you can choose to use any size of your choice just make it wonderful all right Now, see what I've just done. Okay, see this. Okay. So now you can fast it and begin to do it gradually one after the other. And you can choose to create any types of beards for heat. All right. So this is the one I choose to use. This is the type I choose to use. You can choose to use another type. Anything you want to do, just make sure it is very meaningful. Can you see I'm doing this strands there? All right. Make sure it's not so thick. It's not too thick, rather. I just need a way of trying to bring it in. All right, so let's see this side. Can you see this now? All right, so you can flip the picture to the other side. This, you see what I'm saying the other time when I'm doing the high bro. So it is convenient for me to be taking it to the right side now. I'm taking it to the left side the other time, but now to the right. All right, so you just have to go with what you can do at the particular at the time in particular. All right, so. Just follow the strands of the picture. Okay, can you see? Okay, now let's see the picture. All right, can you see the beards? Good. So create a new layer also for this side, and just see what I'm doing. Just like a bracket, as if you're drawing brackets. Close and open bracket. Do you understand? Yeah, and this area just put some strokes there. Right, let's see can you see that so don't merge it for now because you may have reasons to erase some parts that's what i'm saying you shouldn't uh, merge it so this area just put your sketch you know little by little if you check the last tutorial i released you also see how to do beard small but this is a beginner's guide all right just let me show you what i'm doing can you see this all right so it's just as if you are trying to write your c like this do you understand so that's all i'm doing but i'm not making it to be wide
you can take your seat to any side just make sure you're trying to do something like c then you can it can um, take its strands to the top to the left to the right or downwards all right it all depends on um, how you wish to draw the beards you see i'm still going with my c but i have to turn it upside down for some reasons when we come to this area all right so you take it downwards also here like this and just try to take your strands upward all right so if you actually check something now the initial beard that is here may want to change because i'm trying to make the strands here a little bit bigger all right so just this area also you just take it downwards likewise i see you are doing zigzag for the top now not c hope you note now when i'm talking about this area i said you draw something like c but when once you get to uh, the top like this it has to change it will now be something like this as if you want to write your s all right so but it's not actually s you see what i drew so you just make it like that that's how it has to be for that area don't be writing one no i'm not asking to be writing one it must be like zigzag it must curve if you are writing one it will not uh, make sense all right so you just have to curve it okay so let me show you that can you see now all right so you continue to curve it Right, can you see what I mean? All right, so you continue with your C, that was there. You understand hope you're not confused i'm just calling it c because i think that's the layman language c i think that's the layman language that we can un all understand is that okay so now let's see i think it should be good by now okay it's remain this area and i'll try to put my c here also all right so the next thing i'm going to do for this area Firstly, let me create a new layer and use my HR at this juncture. All right, let me use my HR. I'm not saying I'm not going to just come and watch this video from beginning to the end. If you don't and you are confused and you are asking me, how do I do this? How do I imagine? You no, know, it will be very devastating that I made tutorials talk and talk and yet you are still asking me what I have explained. So please just calm yourself and watch the tutorial nothing is chasing you so guys you can support this youtube channel actually you can you can support it much more than you think you can support it all right how will you support it sharing this youtube link goes a long way i really appreciate it. like i said i may not know you and that's sure i may never know you all right that's it that's a fact i may never know you but i really appreciate it. for everyone that i've been sharing the group link i mean uh, uh the youtube link i appreciate a lot it means so well to me i don't take it for granted and also don't just share it please don't just share the link make sure you watch it all right watch it and then like every video before you download it like it first all right then you share the link okay so let's see the bits all right can you see the similarity between them now you can hide it and fill the space with your c you understand let me go back to my soft hairbrush and fill all this place with your C. You understand now? It has reasons. Just follow what I'm telling. By the time you are good at it, also you begin to understand some of these things that I'm telling you. 
all right now that's for these beards actually it's not for all beards it's for this kind it's for this nature is that okay so just this gradually all right guys i'm sorry for any kind of noise maybe here in the background just bear with me i can't avoid that i can't for now all right so you can see i've filled uh, it just roughly all right so now let me dress it more all right okay so now i can match these two let me see something and bring this up okay just let me blend it a little All right. So you can measure the beards now. I think we are done with it like this. All right. So measure everything into one layer for the beards. Can you see that? All right. I think that's cool. I think that's wonderful. All right, guys. Like I'm saying all the time, please and please and please, you can support this YouTube channel by sharing these links. Guys, share it. Share the link share the youtube link share it with everyone all right um what's the other thing i think this is how it should be all right what haven't we done or do rather okay let's complete this area i think we haven't completed it completed okay so all right just put something like this and uh, just make sure it's joined all right oh good so now you merge it with the beers likewise all right so now this with the highs uh, and then i think it should be going with this okay uh, let's see okay let's detail the highs likewise I hope this tutorial is not too long. Uh, okay. Now you choose. Uh, let's use. Okay, let's continue to sketching too. And then you just choose your guys again, and click on ellipse. All right, to draw the highs. Okay, so come to the other side as well. All right, so you can fill the color with black. All right, okay, so you can hide this layer for now and create another new layer on uh, downwards. Put it on white color and let me choose my inky pen. You see, I'm just using the tool I've been using over and over again because I don't want to get you confused. Is that okay? So just put it in the high side that all right. So after you're done with that, okay, let's see if it's okay. Um let me change the background color to brown. Okay, and let's turn this on. I want to see if it's actually going with what is in the reference. Actually, okay, let's just label it green and then duplicate 
let me click on begin and then i will choose my hsl adjustment and this lightning you will turn it to black all right then you click on done all right so on this layer that i just turned to black you will turn your home color also here to black and all these loopers will want to show you fill it with black all right because we are trying to detail the highs all right so uh you should get some ideas from this area if you want to make highs that you know they are red all these vampire highs and so you can get some idea from this but i will not be going to that aspect for now maybe another story will be coming on that okay So if you actually want to put some kind of details in the highs, I mean, uh, maybe like the vampire highs I talked about the other time, you just have a way of pinching white and then you use your soft eraser and blend everything up and understand. So it can also be used as a sign of virus most of the times. Okay. So let's reduce this a little. You remember that? And then use our soft, I mean, our eraser to clean it up. okay so come to the other side also let's clean it up let me see if we actually have a sketch that was there um we didn't okay so let's put a sketch there okay let's go back to our dream brush a sketch should be there it shouldn't be empty okay so just bring this layer up let's try to put a sketch there okay Put it at this side also. Right. So let me use my soft eraser for the hedges. Because that's where our the highs will be dependent on when it comes to some areas. So if it's not there, it will not be making sense. Although if we are not sketching. There are many ways to that actually. All right, so just sketch, okay. Now we will know the boundary of uh, where this black should stop. Okay, so this area also you use your soft eraser to erase it. Okay, so let's increase the opacity again. All right. So you can choose to merge it or leave it now let's put the details the white details you can see here now you can use your hairbrush let me reduce it to the lowest it can go is 0 0.5 for the size so it's too uh, big i have to change the choice of brush okay i have to change it now let me show you a way you can do that just use any of your tool that can paint and put the white color you see i'm doing it you see it's more bigger than the one in the picture all right so let's go to the other side also there is a reason why i make it bigger i'm going to tell you that just let's put the color first okay so now the ass is bigger but you can't actually leave it like this now you have to go back to your soft hairbrush i mean soft eraser and then you blend it a little i'm not asking you to erase you blend it a little but in the blending in the process i know some parts will be erased but you just have to be careful with it i don't want to use the word erase for it so that you can just clean everything up all right okay so you can hide this for now label it violet all right and just reduce the opacity of this around 15 or 14 and let's give it some details that's on this layer that we turn to black at the other time i don't want it to be too bright 
right so to the other area also okay all right so i think we're done with this for now all right so just let me check well okay let's move to the neck for the sketching we need to put some there i think we are using 1.7 Okay, let's just continue with our 1.4 here. Okay. Now your salty reason. You blend it likewise. Right. Let me merge it with this. With a new layer. Okay, I think it's better now. Yes. So you can just put a little down with it also. I use your soft reason now. So uh, let's check the clothes also very well. And, um, okay. All right. So I think that will be all for this part. So guys, do want to share the link with others that needs to see it. All right. Share the link and make others also to benefit from it. okay just let me make a little changes here i don't want it to have angle you understand good so for this area also all right guys so just share the youtube link with others refer this channel all right and let others also benefit from it i tell you guys it's wonderful all right it's wonderful it's wonderful to have everyone here it's wonderful and i really really appreciate it i appreciate that a lot all right so thank you for watching once again downloading the videos is not only how you can help me with this youtube channel you can also help by liking the videos you liking the videos will make you to to automatically you know refer the videos with other graphic designers all right so um thank you for watching once again and bye